Hey there, have you ever found yourself dealing with the frustration of a cluttered media library? You know, when your WordPress media files are scattered all over the place and your folder structure is just not aligned? Well, in the world of WordPress, how your server's folders are organized follows a specific plan. This plan keeps things separated neatly between the core WordPress files, themes, plugins, media uploads, and all the other content. This organization is mostly influenced by the WordPress core, which is essentially the vital collection of files that form the foundation of the WordPress platform. These files hold the main code, functionalities, and default themes, and they're usually stored right in the root directory of your WordPress setup. But keep in mind, while this is the typical structure for most WordPress setups, some differences might pop up due to various hosting setups, custom configurations, and added functionalities. So, guess what? Today, I'm pretty excited to introduce you all to a nifty WordPress plugin called WP Media Folder. WP Media Folder is a plugin that the main purpose is to organize your media with folders in your media library. By default, unless you change a setting, folders are kind of virtual folders that are currently a WordPress taxonomy. And guess what's cool about the plugin? It also brings a feature to the table called Real Physical Folders. This feature changes your virtual media folders into real server folders and subfolders, where your media will be stored. In this video, we'll see how to activate the physical folder for your WordPress media, how to upload images to folders and how to load those media to your WordPress content. This little gem can seriously help you conquer those messy and disorganized server folders. So, here's the deal. This scenario usually comes into play when I'm using the media folder plugin. What happens is, I create a brand new folder using the plugin, and then I toss in some of my media files. But here's the catch, the regular way media folders work in WP Media Folder isn't like actual, real server folders. It's more like a WordPress taxonomy or virtual folders. Just a heads up on that. In simpler terms, this all refers to a real deal directory on the web server's file system. This directory holds specific types of files, and it's a super important part of keeping a WordPress website organized. We're talking core files, themes, plugins, and all those media uploads. Now, understanding how these physical folders are organized is a big deal. It's the key to managing and personalizing your WordPress site like a pro. Once you've got your media files uploaded, it's time to take a little stroll to the media folder settings. The magic button here is the physical folder setting, which you'll enable. Just hit that switch and save, and voila! You're in business. So, what can you do with this shiny new feature? Well, the physical folder isn't without its rules and regulations. They're all laid out in a disclaimer you should totally give a read. Getting the lowdown on these guidelines will save you some serious headaches down the road while you're working with the plugin. Now, once that's all squared away, the migration to the physical folder for the older files kicks off quietly in the background. And guess what? You'll know it's all wrapped up and good to go when the queue down here lights up green. Now that the whole process is wrapped up, let's dive into the fun stuff. We'll create a fresh new folder and toss some media files right in there. The cool part? Those media files inside this spiffy new physical folder will sport a nifty file path. Basically, it's the URL that leads to the folder they call home. But hold on, this pathway isn't available until you've toggled on the physical folder setting. As you can see, if I open a media in my library, I can check for the URL, and it's not in the default WordPress folder, uploads, plus the current date of upload. Now it's the folder and subfolder names. You see, WordPress usually goes for those absolute URLs as the default, but there's a twist. Some plugins might be all about the relative path. If you tick the box, this plugin will step in and try its hand at swapping out those relative paths in the database, not just the absolute URLs. Fair warning, though, this database switcheroo might hit a few snags along the way. But, here's the dealmaker, by giving your media a one-way ticket to a real physical folder, each file and folder will get its very own URL. So now, everything will be neatly attached and connected. Alright, time to get hands-on. I'm heading over to my Elementor page, and guess what? I'm plugging in the media folder gallery. Now, here's the fun part. 
I get to pick out a media file from that snazzy physical folder I've set up, and I'm gonna slap it right onto my page. Once that's done, I hit that trusty save button and then take a sneak peek with the preview option. And what do you know? There it is, right on my page, just the way I configured it and all in harmony with my theme. So far, so good. But let's not stop there, time to put that physical folder URL to the test. I'll do a little investigating. I'm gonna inspect the image, and what's on my radar is its URL. And guess what? The URL I see right here matches up perfectly with the URL back on the plugin page. That's the green light I'm looking for, my physical folder is rocking it without a hitch. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the third party integrations that the plugin has. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets, or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just tested in this video. All the cloud integrations and gallery features will require the $69 membership. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.